This is the fifth grade math practice test for TN Ready. Question number 17, we're in subpart two. That means you can use calculator, people. Calculator. I looked at this question a little bit ahead of time, and I wanted to know, like, just get my head wrapped around what I'm supposed to do. And to me, this totally makes sense to draw, but I'll show you why it makes sense to draw in just a minute. The first thing, uh, so let's actually look at the question. Sorry had three-fourths a bag of pretzels. Her younger brother ate some leaving her with one-eighth of a bag. What fraction of the bag did Sari's brother eat? So, she started with three-fourths, and now she's down to one-eighth. So I'm actually going to sort of draw a very badly drawn version of this bag. And since he goes down to one-eighth, I'm going to break it into eighths. So here's my bag. It should have eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And right now, what she has left is one eighth. I need to figure out where she started. So she started with three fourths of the bag, which is somewhere up in here, but since I already have it broken into eights, I need to figure out what that number is. So I'm going to take three-fourths, and I don't want to look at it in fourths anywhere. I want to look at it in terms of eighths. So how did I get from here to here? So I took my original each original block of a fourth, and I multiplied it times two, because this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth. Also, four times two gives me eight. So I'm going to do the same thing up here, times two. Six, eight. So when I originally had three fourths, it would be all this. And if I look at the shaded parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, eighths. So I'm going to go up here and say she started... One, two, three, four, five, six, so through here. Now, I don't know the relationship between Sari and her brother. I just don't. I don't know if he's just being mean, or he thinks it's funny, or she's just nice and gives him a lot of things, and he just likes chips, and she's a doting older sister. Who knows? Or younger sister. Or, yeah, it's her, she's the older sister. I don't know what's happening, but let's see how much he ate. So this is the total amount they started with. This is the final amount. So I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, five. Forgot to make my dots. So one, two, three, four, five parts undone. So my answer to number 17 is five over eight. No big deal. What else could you do? I didn't drawing the picture takes too much time. Number one, the drawing the picture is not that time consuming, and it'll often make sure you get the answer correct. But there is another way that you can get this. If you know that you started with three fourths and she's left with one eighth, that's a difference question, which we already talked about as a subtraction. So you just do your basic subtraction. We need to think about okay. Um, how I need to convert my denominator here, just like we did before, and this ends up being 6 eighths. We already talked about that. I don't feel like I need to go over that again. Minus 1 eighth, and it gives me 5 eighths. Now, in your soul, you may think, well, can I use the calculator to my advantage? Of course. If you can figure out that it is subtraction, you can use it to your advantage. The way that works is you do 3 divided by 4, it helps if you actually click the correct buttons. 0.75. Do yourself a favor. If you're going to bother doing it this way, which is already lazy, just don't be lazy so you don't write anything down. That way you have somewhere to come back to if you get lost. I used to try to write, do it all in my head too, and it was a disaster. So 1 eighth is 0.125. Now you know, okay, if I could just do some subtraction here, I can get my answer. So now I clear all this stuff out and say 0.75 minus 
0.125 equals 0.625. What do I do with that? Well, you're given multiple choice here, so you check your answer choices. Like I'm saying, I'm not suggesting that you do this. I'm just saying it's possible. Nope, that doesn't work. Nope. Ta-da! See how they're the same number? That would work. But the key here is knowing what to do with it. And drawing the picture makes it easier to tell that you need to be subtracting here than anything else that you could possibly do. Just looking at the numbers and adding them, which is what a lot of people would do, will give you some problems. In fact, it would lead to the answer, cho answer choice S. So if you added 3 fourths, that's 6 eighths, and to 1 eighth, you would get 7 eighths. So drawing the picture makes a big difference here because you can see that you started with some amount and you're left with this amount, so all you have to do is just count the pieces to tell how far apart they are or know that you're going to subtract. So choose your own adventure, but taking a little extra time to draw the picture there makes a huge bunch of difference, and uh, I suggest you go that route.